I really don't want to do this. I, no, I, all right, well, whatever. Here we go. Here we go. Just going to get it out your fucking system. Just get it out your system. Ada, ada. All right, so for today's sort of compilator video, I want to talk about the leader's auras for a bit. Um, you unlock those when you hit rank seven, uh, level, voyage level 35. They are a significant stat buff um, added to your teams. They're very important. And I think that knowing what they are, how they work and how to stack them properly really does give you kind of like an edge over as opposed to just willy-nilly throwing teams together based because of xyz granted sure you can do that if you want to but leaders auras are just very important they're very strong buffs and i want to go ahead and break that down for you um so this is why they're kind of like in my eyes probably the most important skill throughout the game um so let's just go ahead and go to the games let's just knock this out and get it out the way for you all right, so like we was talking about, like I was talking about earlier, when you're in your ranks and you hit level 35 in your Voyager, you can unlock your rank seven skills. And when you unlock your rank seven skills, some characters have leader auras. Not all of them do, but some of them do. A good, a good majority of them do. Even in the current game, the current build that we have right now, there's quite a bit of leader auras in here. Now, the way that these work is that it gives the current character the buffs that it has and any other character that shares the same personality traits um, or categories as this character. So this skill right here, Perfect Assassin, is a leader's aura for all alacrity allies in battle. And it increases the attack by 10%, defense by 20%, crit rate by 15%, and crit damage by 15%. So if you want to look and see which characters have the alacrity trait, you can just come right on here to their main page and you can click right on these little three little circles right here, right below the level. And when you click on alacrity, which is this right here, these are all the characters that would benefit from this buff. Now, what's really cool about this is, is that you could build your teams based around the leader auras for depending on the missions. So this is why, like I said before, you definitely want to get a vast, um, you definitely want to get like a nice good size amount of units. And you want to make sure that the units that you get and that you go for all kind of mix and match with each other so that they can share and benefit from each other. So that when they're in their, when you're in your matches and your fights, they all somehow get the buffs that you're going to be using and as the game progresses more and they come out with new units and more units down the line these units are all going to be kind of overlapping each other and you'll be able to have certain auras that are overlap with other people um now one thing i want to point out is is that the 10 percent uh the 10 percent attack in the defense 20 percent, those don't stack those don't overlap. If you have two people with leader auras that have attack 10% and defense 20%, then those it's always it's only going to be this. You don't get if you have two people, you're not going to get 20% attack and 40% defense. So those don't stack. So, but what does carry over to other characters is like the crit right here and the crit damage. Now, if another character has a crit uh rate or if another character has a crit damage, if I, I'm going to assume that if it's a 15% crit rate from another person's leader, you're not going to get two 15%, but that's just me assuming. I don't think we've come across any units that share leader auras just yet, but what's important really is just those second abilities. So when you have characters like, let's say, Maeth, Maeth, she does have a leadership ability, but this one only goes for all sort of Convalaria allies and it increases the attack by 10% and defense by 20%. So this skill is not gonna be good on Metha if you have another character with a leader's aura. This is only gonna be decent with someone who does not have a leader's aura. So you wouldn't wanna sit here and combine Metha with, uh, let's say, Raya, who has a, um, a leader's aura as well. 
because that 10%, 20% is the only thing that you're going to get. And that would be a waste of a slot to use with Matha. Um, Raya's skill gives that, plus it gives damage dealt 8% and decreases their damage taken by 8% for all characters with Sword of Convalaria. So if you could just go over here, click on this, Sword of Convalaria. These are all the characters that will be able to get her, um, her buff. So... When you're building your teams, you want to make sure you keep a lookout for that. And you want to make sure that you understand how that interaction works. So that's the reason why when I click on this, I'm just going to put that on her. And I'm honestly thinking about unlocking another skill, but we'll go to that later. Um, but above all, that's really how the leadership auras work. So when you have characters that are like um, Matha, Samantha, Agile Eye, who only gives you that 10% attack and that 20% defense, those aren't great. And those aren't that good. I think those would be a waste of a talent. I got it so that you don't have to get it and to test it out and see how it works. But when you have characters like Raulia, Lily Will, Cole, and you know all of them have their own separate abilities, then those ones you kind of want to mix and match because you know you want your characters to have the best amount of stats um, provided. So, prime example: if you looked at my last video, I'm collecting Vildor characters. I want Vildor characters, so I'm missing like one Ico. But what Lilywill does is that she gives all of them plus movement one so she gives an additional movement towel which is really good movement is such an important thing um it allows you to get to things a lot faster blah 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 blah, blah. but this right here is very important so everybody who's under this will end up getting that movement buff i need iggy um so i'm working on that so when i start pulling for characters i'm going to be pulling for priority characters of builder and there's two particular characters that are coming out which we'll talk about in another video um but for above all this is kind of like the, the make out and the work that i want to do and then i'm you know when i'm building my teams so when i'm using characters like momo momo is a builder and she's get a sort of convalaria and she's a fortitude so what does that mean is is that when I have Lily Will out, she'll get that plus one movement. And then when I have um, Raytha out, she'll get that plus 8% damage, plus 8% damage reduction buff. Um, and that those, you know, those will stack onto her. So it makes her a suitably more, uh, stronger and more dependable damage dealer. You know, when you have characters like Dontalian, um, who, who is a phenomenal unit and this is if you looked at my video about characters with the re-roll and who to go for he was one of my top characters to get for the re-roll because his leadership buff is all allies deal 20 percent more damage to enemies infected affected by three or more debuffs which is a significant skill because this goes for everybody who's in the area um area area whatever so when you click on this these all these units get that buff and if you know anything about the hangman, the hangman characters, they apply debuffs. Um, Nurgle gives a debuff as well. Nungle, I think, gives a debuff as well. So applying these debuffs, it makes it so that everybody on this list will get 20% uh, damage, which is why he's a huge, you know, really good person that you want to go with um, when you were, if you decide to re-roll and go for a character, and he also has a banner, I had to, win, I went ahead and got him, um, off of the banner, but yeah, so when you have these characters like this, you know, they all share, and then he also has the fortitude, and then there is a unit that has a, uh, aura for fortitude, I think there is one, I don't remember, I have to double check that, but above all, that's what, that's what, the importance of leader auras are. You definitely want to make sure that you take a look at the characters and see how they all blend and mesh together. So one more time, when I look at Nona Will and she has this one right here, she gets that plus one movement buff from Lily Will. And then she also has a sort of Convalaria, which means that she gets that buff from Rawia. And then she has aggression, which means that she actually also has a 
aura right here for all characters with aggression, which is really nice. Where if they fall into the aggression category, um, they get skill damage plus 10%. So when you're looking at this list right here, Samantha, skill damage 10%, which, you know, you're really more, probably not going to do unless you build like damage Samantha. But if you have a barrel, your barrel will get that 10%. So will Guzman and so will Alexi. They all will get that 10% skill damage, which is really nice, um, a nice skill to have and nice for damage. So you definitely just want to make sure you know how your characters work and, and understand them. And if you definitely want to take a look at and see how you can tell what auras are on your characters, let me go ahead and show that to you right now before we end the video. All right, so right here, when you're in a map and you're in a game, which if you want to take a look and see what all the buffs that a character has and you want to know what kind of benefits and bonuses that you're getting, all you have to do is just click on that character when it's your turn. Um, you click on the character and if you look on the bottom left hand side, you're going to see the character that you clicked on and you're going to see view. When you click that, this shows you what their current stats are based off of all the buffs that they have, what their cooldowns and all the likes okay but if you look right below their hp right below your stars you're going to see these little squares right here just click on that and it actually shows you what all of your buffs are for your character and what they have and you can take a look and see what the leader auras are so right here as you see leader's aura increases tempest attack by 10 percent and defense by 20 percent everyone who has a leader's aura is going to have that and you're i find that it would be very hard for you to have a character in your team that's not going to get that buff um just because of the amount of characters that is in the game and how much they have leadership auras aggression aura skill um the aggression aura right here which it increases skill damage by 10 percent and then you have the resonance of blood aura, which gives the plus one movement so she's actually generating from three different auras um, and the Sword of Convalaria one. So she's getting this one from Ralia, she's getting this one from Lily Will, and she's getting this one from herself. And this is how you can kind of tell and see what bonuses and buffs your characters have and what they're getting during in the combat. And it's it's very nice, it's a very good tool to use so to keep you kind of informed on what kind of uh, what you're gonna be doing with your characters and you know how you're gonna be progressing through your your time in the game. So I definitely would recommend that you guys go ahead and just, you know, get familiar with your characters, like I've been saying, get familiar with your units, get familiar with how they work so that you'll be able to understand what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be getting yourself into, because preparation into fights is very important and you want to understand how the mechanics work so that you can have the best, um, the best advantage in those fights. Okay, and that's going to wrap up the video. Um, I hope that was very informative to you guys. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, I know I was having a little slowdown with my videos, but like I said, you know, vacation, rest, and everything like that. So I'm getting back into the flow of things. I definitely wanted to make this video out as soon as I hit level 35. This is one of the videos I was very happy about doing. Um, and hopefully this was very informative and I hope I broke it down for you so that you'll understand it better. I try to make sure my videos are all basically about the eyes of someone who's never played the game before and i hope i was able to nail that on the head for you guys um if you're going to be asking if you're wondering if i'm going to be still be using my v2 model yes i think i might be using it from here on out because i'm gonna be quite honestly i don't like wearing shirts i really don't um when i'm at home i i, I keep my shirt off at all times and I'm just going to be keeping a straight buck. So I will more likely be going back to using my VTube model. And, you know, I might do a video here and there again with my, you know, my, 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 my fleshy self. But I think this is just, this is just way more comfortable for me. Um, you probably can hear it in my voice too. This is way more comfortable and I definitely appreciate this. Um, but yeah, so I will get you, I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. You take care of yourself. Have a great rest of your day and uh, stay hydrated or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs>